Hi and welcome to this presentation uh, which will provide more information on how the project team have set the transport planning objectives for the study. An important part of the OBC process is to define our transport planning objectives. As I've mentioned in the main presentation, these TPOs are specific to each business case and are created to essentially flip the problems that we've identified on their heads and to ensure that these options that we develop can be assessed against their ability to meet each TPO. Business case methodology encourages you to set TPOs which are SMART, which means that they are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant and time bound. These next slides explain the rationale behind each TPO and how we will make each TPO SMART. TPO 1 relates to the provision of appropriate terminal infrastructure to accommodate the in-scope vessels for a minimum of 60 years. The problems that this TPO aims to address include the sub-optimal berth orientation and berth length, the sub-optimal fendering and mooring arrangements and access to vessels, the lack of marshalling and car parking and the lack of provision for vessel charging. This TPO has been made smart through the development of a range of terminal layouts, assessment of safe navigation to the berth by the range of vessels which are in scope, assessment of acceptable gradients for access to vessels across the tidal range and evidence based agreements for marshalling, car parking and lay by berth requirements. TPO 2 relates to improving the reliability and punctuality of the scheduled passenger services, which relates to the Danoon and Kilcreggan services. The problems that this TPO aims to address include the reliability issues of the passenger services to Danoon and Kilcreggan, the limited number of passenger berths, the sub-optimal orientation of the berths, which can result in punctuality issues, and the conflicts between the scheduled and unscheduled use of Gurukh Ferry Terminal. This objective has been made smart through consultation with Calmac Ferries and wave modelling to improve berth orientation, to improve the segregation of the passenger and AMP services and through post implementation monitoring. TPO3 relates to the provision of improved access to sustainable travel links. This TPO aims to address the current access to the passenger service, the suboptimal distance that passengers have to travel to reach onward connections, the suboptimal visibility of National Cycle Route 75 through the terminal, and the definition of the pedestrian route for those entering the terminal from the south. This objective has been made smart through the development of drawings which show passenger flows across the terminal and the distance to onwards travel. The drawings also show the routes for cyclists and pedestrians entering the terminal. The designs developed seek to improve access to the passenger service. TPO4 relates to minimising impacts to the service and limiting any disruption during construction works. This TPO aims to address the fact that works will be required within a live ferry terminal and any service disruption would have an impact on the wider socioeconomics of the area. It also aims to ensure that the options developed are capable of accommodating the current and future vessels at all stages of construction. This TPO has been made smart through considering phasing from the outset showing the phasing on drawings and including the cost associated with each stage of the works. TPO 5 relates to the future use of the terminal and ensuring that we allow flexibility in our designs. This TPO aims to address the lack of flexibility in the infrastructure to accommodate changes to vessels and services at Guruk. And this objective has been made smart through the development of layouts which allow for future reconfiguration or expansion of the terminal with minimum disruption. Lastly, TPO 6 relates to improved traffic flows in the terminal and the adjacent road network. 
this TPO aims to improve the pedestrian flows between vessels and onwards travel. It aims to improve issues with vehicle congestion at Tarbert Street and Cardwell Road. It aims to improve the definition of the pedestrian route through the terminal, particularly for those entering from the south and the traffic flows within the terminal, including at times when services from Arran and Butte are diverted to Gourock. This objective has been made smart through engagement with the Council and development of appropriate layout drawings which ensure improvements to traffic flows in and around the terminal can be achieved. The final section within this presentation considers the weightings which the project team have applied to the TPOs. By applying a weighting to each TPO, the project team have ensured that the importance of each TPO is reflected in the outcomes of the appraisal. TPOs 1 and 2 receive the highest weightings and this reflects the importance of navigational safety and service reliability. TPOs 3 and 6 receive a relatively high weighting, which reflects the importance of improving accessibility and traffic flows within the terminal. The impact of the appraisal against TPO 5 is considered to be less critical to the overall assessment, as the options are being designed to be suitable for use for a minimum of 60 years, and only a major change to the ferry terminal requirements would result in further major works at Gurukh. Lastly, TPO4 is considered to be short term and the project team will work to minimise any disruption to the service during the construction phase. Thanks for listening to this presentation and I hope it's provided additional useful information on how we set the TPOs for the project.